It said Dalton. I can still hear that voice. So this video are stories chosen from you guys. I've actually chosen all the stories for this video on my Instagram at Landon Productions. If you guys want to be a part of the next video, make sure to head over to my Instagram at Landon Productions, give me a follow, and make sure to look for this image right here and tell me your scary story because I want to feature you guys in a most amazing top 10 video. And also I just got an email saying that the new merch is on its way. Right now we've designed the most amazing t-shirts and is this real life right now t-shirts. It's on its way to us. We're going to check it out. We're going to make sure the quality is there and the product is as cheap as possible for you guys. I'm just super hyped right now. I'm super excited. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. So how's it going you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon Dalitzing, and welcome back to another Most Amazing Top 10 video. Things are about to get really scary for this one, so you know what? Let's just jump right into it. This right here, this is the top 10 scary stories ever told that might be real, and this is part six. If you guys missed part five, make sure you guys click right over here, and I'll also put it in the description down below. Starting us off like we always do, in at number 10, we have a story from dark underscore dweller underscore with underscore goodness, and this is what they said. This really is a true event. I was 16 and it was summertime. Living in developing country, we always have load shedding from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. due to damp and hot weather. I used to go up on the rooftop of my house and stay there till the electricity came on. One night, electricity didn't get off at the appointed time, but that two hour routine happened at 11 p.m. I went up as usual. It was a moonlit night and everything was so vivid. As I just came up, I saw a black silhouette leaning on the adjacent house rooftop. Our rooftop were merged together, only only a grill bar separating us. Though the moonlight was so bright, I couldn't see any distinct features. As the silhouette saw me, and I saw him or her, it ran at an inhumane speed. Not even footsteps could be heard. I became so scared I instantly went downstairs and went to bed. The same very night, something or someone hit my leg while I was sleeping. Then I woke up with a scream. My leg pained so bad that I had to clutch it in my hands to relieve the pain. In the morning when I saw my leg, it had a red bruise on it. It's as if it was hit by a baseball. I became so scared that for months, I didn't go to the rooftop at night. Well, that is a very scary story to say the least. I would be mortified. Like obviously something happened to you that night because uh, yeah, you woke up and your legs were bruised. Maybe it was Slenderman lurking underneath the bright moon. I quickly Google how to defeat Slenderman. I actually did a quick search myself and uh, yeah, some people actually say it's virtually impossible. So I don't know if I if I helped you or if I just scared you even more. And in the comment section, let me know how would you guys defeat Slenderman? And don't forget to submit your scary stories on this video as well. Come from Mary underscore 0529 and this is what they said. So I was about 14, my cousin's boyfriend at the time were visiting my grandma. Somehow we got into a conversation about Ouija board. I've always believed in the paranormal because of the experiences I had as a kid. Story for another time. So we were Playing the board, everything started out innocent. Trying to communicate with my grandfather, I only met once as a baby. What we thought was my grandfather answering a question, only my grandma would know that my grandfather had a son before that they were married. Then it turned dark real fast. A boy came through saying he died in a fire. Then he said he set the fire and killed everyone in the house. Something told me I would have a baby boy October 16th. Well, to my surprise, I got pregnant at 18 with a baby boy. Due date it was the 16th of October, but he was born on the 19th. So to this day, I never touched a Ouija board again. Is this real life right now? Is this a made up story? Because there's no way that this could be real, but if there's a slightest chance, I mean, that is unbelievable. How did the spirits in the Ouija board know that you were gonna have a baby? They got the expected due date right, but imagine if the baby was actually born on the date that they said. I would be tempted to open up the Ouija board again and ask them, you know, maybe some lottery numbers. The spirits seem to know the future, so why not give it a go? Just make sure to buy a few tickets with the numbers, you know, somewhat close to what they say because they seem to be just a little bit off. The unexplained taps is next up at number eight. This story comes from Matthew Treble. 
was once in my house and all the taps suddenly turned on. I was so scared, I then heard demonic laughing. I was home alone, but I ran out of the house. I came back later and the taps were turning on and off. Then there was quiet. You know what's going on? I can tell you exactly what's going on right now. It's a sign to go pack your bags right now because you need to get out of there. Just grab the important things, forget about everything else, and just, just go. Go somewhere far away. I'd probably live in a church for a week and make sure that I'm blessed. I'm just not sure why a demon is trying to possess you, Matthew. Almost being kidnapped is up next at number seven. This story comes from Brave Little Girl, and this is what you said. And again, thank you to every single person who has submitted a scary story into us. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram, Atlanta Productions, look for this image right here, and tell me your scary story, and also tell me your scary story in the description down below. All right, going back to your story, this is what you said, was walking to school one time in the middle of January when I realized someone was following me. I freaked out and ran to the bus stop. It was darkish outside, so I tried not to trip, and I waved at the girls there. The guy followed me. He was kind of close, stopped, and he went to turn around when he noticed my friend making her way to the bus stop. I went into panic mode and tried to get her to stop and started trying to get in front of the man, but I didn't make it on time. He grabbed my friend and pushed her up against a nearby car. She says she felt him trying to drag him off. I ran over and grabbed the other side of the jacket and started screaming at him. After a huge scream for me to let her go or you'll regret it, he ran off. We were in so much shock, we couldn't remember the number for 911 and so she called her dad. My parents didn't find out until I was at school and I had been interviewed. I still struggle with PTSD and thankfully the guy was caught. One last thing, I went to school not remembering much of the stuff I should have. My friends' names, classes, my parents' phone numbers. Scariest time of my life. I'm now forever afraid of going to the bus stop alone, but my friend walked me there so I'm good. So messed up, you were so scared you actually forgot the number of 911. I mean, I totally believe it. You know what's weird? I keep having reoccurring dreams where I don't know the number for 911 myself. Like I actually try to dial 911 and I just can't do it. I'll go like nine and I'll aim for the one, but I'll push a two. And this is like a reoccurring dream that's gone on for a very long time. And I wonder what the man was trying to do. Was he charged with anything? Imagine he found out on the news that the guy was actually a mass serial killer or something like that. I mean, that would freak me out. The Hooded Man comes in at number six. This story comes from Asher, and this is what they said. Hey Landon, I have a spook story. All right, here we go. Thanks so much for sending in the story. And you also said, I'm sorry that I'm not the best at explaining things over text, but I'm gonna try. So I was six years old when my family and I moved into a new house. Everything was good and fine for a while, like how it usually is, but things got weird. My siblings and I can hear knocking and walking when we were home alone. But the scariest feeling was always that lingering sensation someone was watching us, usually as we slept. I'm not sure what was in the house, but one day I was getting ready to go somewhere, I'm unsure where, Mind you, this wasn't during the witching hours. I should have been safe, but I was getting ready and brushing my hair in the hallway. We had a standing mirror there and a hallway behind me to where my sister's room and father's office was. My sister was showering and my father was downstairs watching TV. And my mother was in my little brother's room getting him ready so I could see her. Well, as I was looking in the mirror, I saw in the hallway behind me, I saw a figure slowly walk past the doorway. It was a black hooded mask just slowly passing. Maybe this doesn't seem scary, but since I've seen that thing, I've seen shadow people and a few months later, my father was diagnosed with schizophrenia. And I have very, very vivid nightmares ever since then. Okay, do you think that your dad actually has schizophrenia or is his paranoia justifiable because something is actually going on in that house? Maybe it was built on a graveyard or something like that. Does your dad see or hear things as well? I'm pretty curious. And I'm actually a bit concerned for you and him and that house. And you know what, tell me if anything else happens. And if something does happen, I think it's time to put it up for sale. But don't tell people it's haunted because you're gonna have to discount the, the hell out of that house. So for you guys watching the premiere video right now, I just wanna say thank you guys so much and make sure you guys are putting your stories in the actual comment section of the video. Uh, you can submit it to the premiere section as well, but as soon as the premiere is over, um, I can't see it. So make sure your stories are on either my Instagram Atlanta Productions or is in the actual video comment section. All right, let's move on to number five on this list. 
This scary story is from Luki Pookie 16. When I was seven or eight years old, I lived in an old house. I stayed downstairs and my brother stayed upstairs. One day I went upstairs to see what my brothers were doing and when I got upstairs, I saw a shadow of a man walk into my brother's room. At first I thought it was my brother, so I walked in there and said, hey, when I looked around in there, no one was there and I ran downstairs and I never went upstairs for a long time. Okay, wait, did you not go into your own bedroom for a long time? I mean, what if you needed something from in there? If it was me and I forgot my Pokemon card, I, I would go, I'd go in there, I, I'd take the risk. But you know what, it may, it may not be worth risking your life for. So did you just live in the living room for like a, a week, a month? And you know what, I'd probably do the same thing. I would just call the couch my bed and the kitchen my home. The ghost trying to do his chores is at number four. The story comes from Robert of Pintar. And I apologize if I said that wrong. Here is a true ghost story. It did not happen to me, but to my sister. She worked at a famous fast food chain, and then he put a little bracket. I will not say the name, although I really want to know the name of it. Was it McDonald's? <laughs> Tim Hortons, KFC? Weird stuff were happening around there and sometimes they would come to work and the doors were already unlocked even though they locked it before. Since it kept happening, they checked the cameras and they saw that during the night the doors would open themselves and stuff like brooms were moving on their own too. My sister left the job and never came back. I know it's nothing special, but the fact that it's such a famous place really scares me. Okay, now I'm really curious to what it is. Who knows what people were doing there before? Are, go are ghosts haunting KFC, maybe McDonald's? Maybe they're just trying to help out. Maybe they're not haunting. Maybe they're trying to keep the place clean and helping you guys unlock the doors for the morning rush. What the heck happened is at number three. This story comes from Iron Ward underscore Toxic. There's a school down my road and some stupid year 10s decided to spend the night there but after five hours they heard a door slam and a man came outside and started chasing the year 10s. The year 10s all ran into their school forest and split up all around the forest. But only one survived, but not for long. The year 10 hung himself because all of his friends were brutally murdered. This was all captured on the security camera. I mean, wait. I. Are you serious? Is this actually a real story? Everyone died? Is this real life right now? Because what the heck happened? Was this all over the news? I'm really hoping the story is made up because it's probably the most terrifying story that I've ever heard of. I think it's time to close that school down because it's not safe. You have a mass murderer murdering students at the school in that forest. And the fact that all their deaths was recorded on camera is absolutely insane. A black creature in the night is next at number two. This story is from colors underscore by underscore Tasia underscore and underscore Gillette. Hi, love your channel. This happens sometimes when I try to sleep. I hear crack noises from the stairs in my room, but nobody is there. I have a second floor on my room. On the second floor, I hear noises too. It creeped me out sometimes. I wake up with scratches on my body and I see black creatures around my bed. It's really creepy. Creepy and this is all real. Trust me. You know what? I, I trust you. I'm trusting you right now. And first of all, do you really have a second floor to your bedroom? I mean, how crazy is that? Secondly, have you ever told anyone about this story? Waking up with scratches on your body is not okay. Clearly something is going on. Maybe sleep with a cross around your neck. Have some holy water ready to like... Ch -ch -ch. Anything, anything moves, you just tss. When you hear the noises, it's time to start praying, you know? And you know what, I really hope it works. And finally, at number one, we have the faces that all returned. This one is from Biggie1118. Here is a scary one for you. Every single night, I always have the same dream. I am back in high school and I'm condemned to being in the same classroom all day, every day. There are only six people with me in that never ending class. Mrs. Truitt, my buddy Nick, my buddy Chris, a nerdy girl named Liz, another girl named Chastity, and my girlfriend Christy. Every time the bell rings, I leave the classroom and enter the next class. But the same six people are there too. It's the same day, all day, every day. And the scariest part of the whole thing is that each of those six people have passed away in real life. And I have no idea what the dream is supposed to represent or why those six people are in the dream. I'm not 
sure if there is a life lesson that they want to teach me from beyond the grave and I really don't know what any of it really means and that is just as scary. What do you think is scarier? The six faces that haunt my dream or the psychological aspect of not knowing why? I think it's the psychological aspect of not knowing why because it could be two things. It could be something good or something they're trying to warn you of. And is this real life right now? All of those people have actually passed away? Like your teacher, your buddy Nick, and your girlfriend? I mean, what the heck is going on? My sincerest condolences goes out to them. It's a really sad story, and obviously it's terrifying at the same time, but I think it's more sad than anything. I'm not sure why they're haunting your dreams. Maybe they have some unfinished business. I, I don't know what it is, what it could be, but I really do hope you're able to figure it out, and maybe the dreams will stop one day. Well, there you guys have it. I was your host, Landon Do Not Sing, and uh, yeah, you guys terrified me in this one. Thank you so much for submitting your scary stories. If you guys got to the end of this video, I wanna see who the dedicated Most Amazing Fans are. Put a hashtag of the end in the comment section below. I love every single one of you guys. I'll see you all in the next Most Amazing Top 10 video.